What's going on, everybody? We've got a limited pool. Uh, as I fix my camera, um, I got a janky camera. But yeah, we've got Harrison Smith. We just pulled him uh, off the rerolls, but I'll go ahead and go over his stats, tell you what I'm doing for this promo. But he's got 88 speed, 91 XO, 89 tackle, 92 player rag, 93 pursuit, 87 man coverage, 93 zone, 92 hit power. Uh, 76 catch. He's got 86 change of direction. Uh, press 80. Um, he's a limited. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you about him. I'm not going to say he's necessarily um, the greatest. I mean, he's a limited pool, so that's coins. Um, I'm actually going to be smart with my coins this time. Um, I wasted coins on the Steve McNair. Uh, for some reason, this Harrison Smith is only 270k. So we're going to put him up for 272. Hopefully he sells. Um, kind of disappointed that he's not selling for much. Um, as you can see, though, I've got the 91 Marquise Brown. Um, and I plan to use him on my team. But uh, kind of some things I'm doing right now, um, I'm pretty much just rolling. Um, now, I will say one thing that might be worth doing is uh, doing this set over here. Uh, doing the Tony Romo set. You get, you get all four of these 92 players back, so... I mean, you get four 92 overall... Yeah, 492 overall players. You can sell Romo. Um, I mean, that's what I'm going to try and do. Um, obviously, I can't afford that right now. But uh, we'll check out Romo, see if he's actually up. Because um, I would like to do the set. And then sell Romo. And then buy... Okay, so, yeah, he's not very expensive. Um... And I didn't figure he would be. As we need to check. So these are going for about 190 a piece. Uh, the 92s to be um, exact. So I think what I'm going to do. So I'm going to sell a few cards. Um, get those 92s. We'll just be on our way. But first order of business, I can get rid of a uh, a receiver here because we're going to be plugging in Marquise Brown. So I believe that's going to bump Julio out of the lineup. And he's not going for enough. Uh, I'm probably just going to quick sell him if I can. Yep. So we're going to quick sell Julio. Um, add Marquise Brown to the lineup with Lamar. Um, I think Marquise will get his his uh, upgrade. I think he'll score a touchdown. But that's going to make my top three look pretty good. I guess I could have kept Julio. Um, but I didn't. So nothing I can do about it. That's glitched. Okay. <sighs> kind of upset that that Harrison Smith really doesn't go for anything. Um, as I do also need to quick... So I wish he would have just been worth leaves. Yeah, I wish he would have just been, like, some leaves because... Uh, I'm I'm really enjoying rolling these. As I need more to do the set. I would like to get all those guys. Um so pretty much all I've been doing is I had a bunch of training. Convert your training to leaves. I mean you're not gonna get anything crazy, obviously. Um, but this is just to get a basis of of leaves to be able to potentially pull a 92 or that limited um, even though Harrison Smith honestly uh, I mean he's better than pulling one of the 92's but in the grand scheme of things 
be just as good as pulling just a 92 and not uh, Harrison Smith. Um, I mean, you get leaves, so like I've pulled multiple of uh, Brandon Sheriff, and I've turned it into Marquise Brown, a couple cornucopias, um, and the cornucopias haven't been that great, I'll be honest. Um, I probably wouldn't waste your leaves on it, but I've just been doing the 85 plus overall, and honestly, this has been like working for me the best. Um, as we get an 88 Sherman there. Which is a pretty good pull. Um, but you know, rolling is risky. So I'm not saying do it. But, I mean, it's fun. I mean, I've been doing it for a couple hours now. Um, every once in a while, you get lucky. And then every once in a while, you get an 85 and you lose a lot of leaves. Um, if we were to pull Harrison Smith. Um, I would be able to do the set, potentially, although it's not looking very likely at the moment. Um, but we're hoping for one of those 92s. As we get another 85, and we're going to be short just a little bit. Um, truthfully, I don't want to waste any of my coins on these guys. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, wait. Unless I do sell Deacon and all of them. I mean, I get a right guard, a defensive tackle. I think I'm going to have to sell some guys. Fletcher Cox, Allen Robinson, and Patrick Peterson. So I get a corner, a receiver, Okay, so yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We need we need to do these sets. Um, so we'll sell Steve Smith here. He's going for about 150. Uh, we can put him up for about 145. And I'm trying to think. Would I be better off? Put him up for 144. Hopefully he sells. And then, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this with you guys. I'm just gonna show you kind of what I'm doing, what my thought process is here. Um, so next order of business, we've got to sell a corner. So we're gonna be getting a corner. So we could sell Asante Samuel. Um, although I kind of liked it. Uh, did he already sell? He did. So we're up to 404. I think we're gonna need about five. So we might might have to sell another card here. Um, I don't want to do this though. I could just d. I could just downgrade him, and I could buy him back later after I do the set and then get these guys on the team. Let's do that. I think he's only 66k. It's not worth it. Uh, we'll put him back in the set. Uh, Marquise Brown, I could replenish. Um, we might, we might actually do that. And let's put him up for 150. So yeah, I think this will be the best move. 150,000 for Marquise. Okay. Now I do want to get him back get him on the squad with Allen Robinson. Um, but we need to put Alex Mack. We need to combine him again. Um, I do think taking these Nats is a good investment. So let's do this. Select from item binder. Alright. So he's back in the set. Alright. So Marquise needs to sell. Um... No, honestly, I think I'm going to try and roll some training while we wait for Marquise to sell. Um, I'm going to take his abilities away. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Raheem Mostert much. Refund ability. So that's going to give us a lot of training. And refund ability. 
Right, so we run it, refunded all of his abilities. Um, we should be able to buy all these cards. Um, but what I want to do is I want to turn my training into leave, see if we can't pull a 92, and then we're going to go fill out the team a little bit more. So I'm going to be recording for 10 minutes now. Um, if you're still watching this, thank you. But let's do this. And see, if I'm pulling an 83 or an 84 on these, like, I'm I'm doing pretty good. Honestly, I don't know if I make or lose coins on this or what, but um, this is what I've done pretty much all day, is just turn my training into leaves. Austin Corbett. We've got one more roll. See so if we can't clutch out a 92, we'll buy up the guys, put them in the sets, and we'll uh, get the Nats, and then we'll get Tony Romo, and we'll sell him, and we'll buy more players back. Autumn Blast. I need some luck here. No luck. Not this time. Probably got one more roll out of this, unless we pull a decent card. Um, hopefully we do. That's going to be it for... Th ah, we've got one more roll. We s clutched it in. Clutched one roll. And we've got enough for an 80-plus roll. Imagine we get a 92 out of this. And we did not. Okay, so we have 539,000. It should be enough to buy all these guys. Um, we could be short, which will kind of suck. But I'm hoping we're not short here. If we are, we'll just have to sell a few more guys. So it's not a big deal, to be honest. <laughs> Autumn Black. Whoa. Why are these showing up? Are those guys not... Oh, okay. So I guess it's not technic. Why don't they pop up in the Autumn Blast? Am I missing something here? What's going on? Alright, I guess the thing is glitched. Uh, so we'll do, we'll do Alan Robinson first. So, Bears... 176k, we will take it. Alright. And then... Fletcher Cox is the next one. And he is on the Eagles. We're not going to have enough. We're going to be short. 172k though. We're going to be short by like 100k. Have to sell another card. Probably sell Deacon. So I don't know if this was necessarily worth it. Because now we got to buy that right guard. And we have 8,000 coins and he's going for 100 and something. He's on the football team. 180k. So we've got to make up 180k here. But once we get Romo, I mean, we'll be all we'll be all good. It just is a matter of getting Romo at this point. So I guess we'll refund refund Deacon's ability and. Um, We'll sell Deacon. So we'll have to refund his X Factor. I really like Deacon, so I, I think I'm going to get him back. We'll refund that. And now we'll sell him, hopefully, for the amount we need. <sighs> we'll take off his team ability. My bad. 
Oh, I gotta refund all these. That's what it is. He, there's no way he goes for 180k anymore. Probably have to sell two cards to do this. Definitely didn't make any coins doing this, but it's okay. 140. Put him up for 132. Maybe we can sell Gurley too. We sell Gurley. Hey, we should be like right on the mark. It's gonna be really close. Um, and like I said, I can sell a corner as well. Gurley's going for about thirty, so if both of them sell, we'll be good. Thirty thousand for Mr. Gurley. Alright, so we just gotta let those two sell. Um, and I think they will. I think Deacon just sold potentially. Uh, I like Asante Samuel, so I don't necessarily want to part ways with him. Marlon Humphrey could go, though. Go for about 8 3. He should cover the tax. I hope Romo quick sells for um, leaves. But uh, we do need my man to freaking sell here. Come on. Deacon literally has to sell, or we can't do this. And he's got to sell quick. Jabriz has rib fracture. Mm, that sucks. Alright, so we're waiting for Deacon to sell. This is lovely. Um, <laughs> I don't want to edit this video, so I'm just going to keep it up. So we'll add Fletcher Cox in here. So we're going to get him back, Nat. We're going to get Pat Pete, Nat. Alan Robinson, Nat. And then we're going to get Brandon Sheriff. So that's going to be pretty good. Um, if he freaking sell, jeez. I'm going to have to put him up for less. I really need him to sell quick. I might have put him up for too much. I don't know. I don't know why he's not selling. Everybody's being hard-headed, I guess. But I literally sold half my team to do this, so I need this to go through. Alright, Deacon. What are you selling for? Put him up for 127? 26? We still won't have enough. 129? We're not going to have enough still. We're going to have to get lucky, I think. <laughs> We're going to have to convert this training. We'll just keep doing it. Matt, or not Matt Burita. Uh, what's his name? Shoot. Jordan Howard just got cut from the Dolphins. That's what I was looking at on my phone just a minute ago. <laughs> Can't believe he got cut. Alright, let's do one roll. Um, hopefully, maybe it'll be Brandon Sheriff. Eighty-six Corey Davis, not quite. <sighs> We're still not. We still have like twenty k to go. I'm gonna have to sell one of my guys. Alright, we'll go. We'll go and sell somebody. Somebody else. 
basically sold my whole team at this point. Alright. Uh, I can't part with Tredavious anyways. So Asante's going to have to go. Um, and he's like 48k. So he'll get us over the hump. We'll put him up for 46. And uh, we'll be good. And then we will uh, we'll do this set. We'll get all for a, uh, four Nat players and Tony Romo, who's honestly the card's very lackluster. Um, it's not good. I hope it quick sells for leaves or something. But at this point, we're just waiting. I can't believe I had to sell my freaking Deacon Jones to get this. I shouldn't have done this. I can't believe the limited is only 270k. Harrison Smith, dude, come on. He made his card kind of garbage. But, I mean, hey, we've almost got Tony Romo, which is honestly, that's all that matters. Ernie 91. Matt. I think Marquise Brown is going to complete his. Ebron definitely has a good chance to complete his as well. Um, as we're going to go by Brandon Scherf. However you say his name. I don't know how to say his name. I hope I have enough. I do. I have 201k now. Only had to sell half my team to get here. But hey, we're here. I mean, we're going to get four Nats. So that's the first time they've done this this year. We'll go right guard, 92. And I pulled him. It's funny. I have literally pulled him two or three times today. And not once have I kept him. Uh, each time I've quick sold him to do cornucopia sets, stuff like that. But here we go, 184K. Um, we have no more coins. He's the last piece we needed to put into the set to get Tony Romo. Um, set will be complete now. It's a lot of leaves. And Master Tony Romo set should be complete. And here we go. Master Tony Romo. We get Tony Romo's power up, which is 81 to start off. Nice noise. Patrick Peterson, Nat. Alan Robinson, Nat. Tony Romo, 94 overall quarterback, and Brandon Sheriff. So Tony Romo's got to go. <laughs> I just got him just to pretty much quick sell him. Um, I could make some coins back. I don't know if it's going to be a lot, though. Hopefully he... All right, so he's going up. He's about 300K. How much leaves is he worth, though? 19, oh, he's only 19,900 training. Ah, well, that's not nice. Okay, so we'll put him up for 300. Let's put him up for 306. If he sells for 306, honestly, we didn't do too bad uh, return-wise. I'd have to figure it up, but I don't think we did too bad. As he, I'm pretty sure he just sold. Alright, so these guys are all in the lineup. I've got to go get another receiver. The O-line looks really good. Halfback could use some work. But defensively, we got better. Um, <laughs> got two stud defensive linemen. Um, and yeah, we have DJ Reader there. I didn't even think about that. We got to probably get Deacon back. Hmm. Maybe we quick sell DJ Reader. Because I don't want to get rid of Leroy. And I'm not moving any of these guys outside, obviously. And DJ Reader's way too slow. We'll think about it. Okay. So I, I'm potentially going to roll some more here. Um, 
I do think I am going to get rid of DJ Reader here. I think it makes sense. How much does he training does he go for? Oof. It's not a lot. I don't know if I want to get rid of him. Uh, this is a tough situation at this point. I will get rid of him. Maybe we'll get lucky with the uh, training to f leaves. Um, but yeah, Tony Romo needs to sell. Um, if we turn him into training, we might could maybe profit. Which, honestly, if he doesn't sell soon, um, we'll know. If he goes for 1400 I can't think. It's going to be too hard to convert this without it just straight up happening. So I think I'm going to be done with this episode. Um, I'm just going to pretty much be re-rolling. If I pull something good or uh, if I do something else, I'll probably update you guys. But uh, yeah, Tony Romo said done. As I'm surprised there hasn't been any bunch of NBA trades today. Uh, that's going to be it for this one. Tony Romo sold. Um, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to buy a couple of those players and do some leaves um, and hopefully get Marquise back on the team. Um, who else did we lose? We lost quite a few players doing that. Steve Smith, Deacon, and Marquise all gone for four players. We did get better defensively, big time. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching.